Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Athena and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is your puppy's ability to understand and respond to her formal on-leash obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give the dogs when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded in his right hand. That leaves your left hand free to give any correction that's necessary and the only correction that we use here at school is a tug and release on her training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that she's going to be coming home with and you're going to be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session. Now she is sitting very nicely at Rich's left which is where all of our obedience training is done and the first exercise that we're going to be demonstrating for you is heel. Heel is proper walking on a leash and the command is Athena heel. Now Athena has a job to do at this point and that is to stay even with your left leg when walking. No forging ahead or lagging behind watching you, matching pace with you, and then each time that you stop your feet, she's been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for her next command. So when you're walking down the street, you stop to cross traffic or talk to someone, she should be sitting nicely at your left without being told to wait for her next command, and that is the automatic sit. So this makes walking your dog a pleasure, makes you more likely to take her for a walk, and it gives her a job to do. She has very short attention span and focus, and all of these exercises were designed to improve that. Now the next exercise that Rich is going to demonstrate for us is the sit-stay. Stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command, and because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one-word command. You're going to start out practicing this for about 15 to 20 seconds and you're going to work all the way up a little at a time to a three minute sit stay. When Rich returns back to her, he walks all the way around her as an additional distraction and he ends up right back where they started at heel position. Everything starts and stops at heel position and they take off healing again. And if you notice, like everything is about self-control, paying attention, focusing on her trainer. There's kids, kids playing ball or something next door, and she's, she wants to be distracted, but she's doing good. She is looking up at Rich. He has eye contact with her. He leaves her in another sit-stay. And this time, instead of returning back to her, he's going to call her. It's Athena, come and she should come and sit right in front of you facing your knees and then she returns back to heel and back sitting. So again, everything's starting and stopping at heel position. And they take off healing again. All your stationary exercises, your sit stays and your down stays can be practiced right in your house. This helps to develop her self-control and her maturity and her ability to focus. Rich is going to call her again, and he keeps his voice kind of low. He doesn't want to amp her up so she doesn't come running in and bowl him over. He wants her to come in nicely like a lady and sit in front of him and then go back to heel and back sitting, and then she gets praised for that. And she's come such a long way. I, I know that you're going to be happy with her progress. She is paying good attention. Now the next exercise we're going to demonstrate for you is the down from a heel position. So with your dog seated at your left, you take your left open palm, push it straight down toward the ground and tell her down and then stay. The long down stay when you're practicing and again right in your living room. You're going to start out at about a minute and you're going to work up to five minutes. Now when Rich returns back to her, he will walk all the way around her again, just as he did on the sit stay, and she should remain lying down until he gives her the next command.
You can't let her lose her focus or be sniffing the ground or all of a million things that the dogs do try to do when they're in a sit stay or a down stay. Down. Stay. Now she's sniffing the ground, and that's what he's telling her no. Because it usually no. is a, they're getting ready to get up at that point. Now this time, instead of returning back to her, Rich will call her. And then back to heel, and back sitting. Good job. Now the next exercise that we're gonna be demonstrating for you is her down from a distance. And this is a harder exercise because you're not right next to the dog when you're doing the, the command. And the more that you can practice with her, the better off she's gonna be, the better it's gonna keep her focused. So Rich is gonna leave her in a sit stay. He's gonna turn to face her and use his right hand to give the command and she went down on the first command so that was very very good and again you're going to lengthen out your distance with that command and before you know it we've laid a good foundation with her she's going to be doing all of these commands for you and on into intermediate obedience we've really enjoyed having her she was challenging at times but she's really a good girl she tries hard to please we want to thank you for choosing Nora's dog training company